Hello, and today I would like to talk about height fields, and I have a few tips on how to improve your flexibility or control over your height field. So, you gotta remember that height fields are just volumes, and they're native volumes. So all the nodes, which, let's say a volume VOP, I can use a volume VOP to adjust my height field values, and all the volume nodes you can see here. I haven't tested if all of them work, but for example, if you'd like to use like a, a volume blur, it should work. So keep that in mind. Keep also in mind that VDB uh, VDB volumes won't or VDB nodes won't work. And the reason is because this is a native volume, as you can see. Names are light orange, and in the VDB or when VDB volumes are created, they're light red. So I would like to show you how to adjust these values inside AVOP. So Keep in mind in here, we can see in our detail, uh, sorry, primitive, we have height and mask. Both of those are 2D volumes, which are also a float volumes. The height volume determines the height, as it suggests, and the mask is just a mask currently set to zero. If I, and I set this to export my mask, uh, sorry, find export, and I set this to mask, I create a constant of one, we can see our volume turned red. The same way as it would turn if you created a certain mask. But what I would like to do in the first VOP is export the height. And I would like to import my height. So import my height. Like so. And I would like to add a certain value. So for example, I can add a constant if I uh, sorry, a constant constant value if I like to let's say 25, and we can see that the volume actually risen up exactly 25 meters upwards. But I think uh, no one wants to just push their volumes upwards. We can, for example, use a noise. We need the position, and then we want to export this. Of course, set this to 3D, and I'll set the uh, frequency to this value, and I'll increase the amplitude quite a lot. As you can see, it does something it actually noises up our volume. But of course, uh, I actually messed this up. You just need a, sorry, my bad. You don't need to set this to 3D as you would do normally. You can just set this to 1D. Because of course, height is a 1D volume, or sorry, not 1D volume, it's a 2D volume, which is a float. So you only need a float uh, result from your noise to uh, create some uh, displacement. Again, I would like to show you that you can also create a relative to bounding box and fit range this if you'd like to. Uh, sorry, yeah, fit range. But I just need the uh, x-axis of vector to float. Plug this in, export this, and let's create a multiply. Uh, and let's multiply our noise. As you can see, we can create, we have much more flexibility with the VOPs in here. And if you're familiar with adjusting your volumes, VOPs are going to help you a lot in your height field generations. Of course, maybe a mix node would be a very interesting thing to use because, of course, you can plug in two different height fields and mix them based on a certain mask. So, one additional thing I would like to talk is, or I would like to talk about the mask and how to adjust it. So, uh, let me find a volume, my bad. Volume, VOP, no, VOP, volume. Like so, I'll dive inside and I'll set a bind, uh, bind export. Of course, uh, if you want to use the incoming mask, you also need to import it. But in my case, or in this case, I don't care about that. So I would like to get the uh, the mask based on the height. So keep that in mind that uh, don't use the position. If I use the position and I export, let's say I use a vector to float, the position won't help much because uh, Let's say set to 25, nothing happens. And the reason is because we essentially do not have any uh, any position in the uh, y-axis. We just have, or all the voxels are set on a y-plane set to zero. Of course, if you'd like to create a mask based on the uh, uh, x or y, you can use the position. But to get the height, you need to import the height. Like so. Now you can see that something's happening. And for example, a really good tip, if you wanted to get, let's say, the actual uh, position, let's say, of this tip here, you can create a vector or to float. 
we can split our position. And instead of using the y position here, we can use the height position. So float to vector. You can use those two. And I'm going to use the height instead of the y. Now, if I created a vector to float again, of course, it's going to yield the same result. But if you, for example, needed to uh, get the position, for example, of this tip here, you can do it this way. Just remember, height is essentially the y position of uh, that voxel. So I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you again. Bye.